Alright, so actually, I decided, I went out wheeling today, right before work, you know, because that's always a good idea. Oh, shit, water. Ah, fuck, that's a lot of water. So, I went out wheeling today, having a little bit of fun, and of course, hoods up, because fucking Chevy problems, right? So, I was out wheeling, and my uh, radiator hose decided, hey, you know, I don't want to work, or I don't want to stay connected anymore, so uh, go fuck yourself. Popped itself off. And, awesomely enough, I am in a puddle, or a fucking, you know, uh, what looks like a small ripper. <laughs> so, let's go get my handy dandy toolbox. I'm irritated. There's that. Walk it up here. And unfortunately, because I already checked it, because I had to zip tie that shit. Before I stopped earlier today, I wasn't not focusing for shit. There we go. Because uh, I had to zip tie that, I, I figured out I don't actually have my proper pliers, so wire cutters, wire cutters will work just fine. Uh, I'm just gonna call this like segment off-road hijinks or some shit. So, all right. I don't know if y'all can see that. My hose guy. There's my hose right over here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so. Uh, shit, those pliers ain't big enough. Ow. My cutters ain't big enough. Let me see if I got something else that'll work. Because I'm retarded and I left my good pliers in my garage. So, let's do a quick walk back here. Obviously, I haven't cleaned out my bed yet. Since I've been working on it. I don't really have anything back here it doesn't look like. Uh, Alright. So now, we get the jerry-rigging part of this figured out. Uh, oh God. What have I got in here? Alright, so, yeah. Um, obviously, as I thought I had, rule number one, always have a good pair of pliers, because, as it turns out, I don't think I've got a pair of pliers, because I'm an idiot, and I went wheeling without a good pair of fucking pliers. Whoops. So, you can start my glass for a second. I got nothing in that box. God, I came unprepared. Holy shit. Uh, like I said, my radiator hose blew in the perfect spot. You know, couldn't have been any better for that fact. Because I'm just going to use damn pond water to uh, refill my radiator until I can get back to town. pair of pliers to reconnect that hose with. So, oh God, this is irritating. I thought I had a pair of fucking pliers. Actually, you know what? I do. And this box I was just in. I've got a crescent wrench and I've got a pair of wire cutters. I'm going to teach you a little something that I learned. It sucks, but hey, when all you got is a pair of pliers, or well, whenever you don't have a pair of pliers, like, because you're an idiot like me and forgot them in your house, this will work. I learned this one, actually, from my grandpa. Big surprise there. I learned a lot of my shit. God damn it. I also learned them short. I'm a truck, but learned a lot of shit from my grandpa. All right, let's not touch anything because this motor is probably about 10,000 degrees right now, or at least every bit of it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do? Let's try our hardest not to lose these fucking tools. Look the way across the engine bay a little bit differently. <sighs> Oh, 
Well, didn't need that. Damn, uh, breather box just fell apart. I'm not sure the problems, right? <sighs> right. So, put one on this guy, and then you'll put another one on. I really need to move you guys in a different spot. That's a shitty spot for my phone. That's a shitty spot for you guys to see. It's completely laying on my fucking fan shot right now. Alright, whatever. I'll just try to keep from knocking my phone off. Let's put it that way. And if I do, well, fuck. Alright. So you get your players on one. Or your needle nose on one. And then you get your fucking crescent on the other. I'm about to lose that. All right. Then you get your crescent on the other one. Just kind of squeeze them together like you would a normal pair of pliers. And then you kind of kind of try to wiggle it on there. More, better yet. <clears throat> well, it's off there. The fan shroud's really hot for some reason. While it's back there, what we're gonna do is uh, slide it back, actually. So I can get a little bit better movement onto this actual nipple piece. I didn't move that back at all. What the hell am I doing? <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> like I said, kids, always bring a pair of fucking pliers. Hey, there's something plugged in there. Well, that's not my problem. Not the problem I'm worried about. Put it that way. Alright, so, whatever. Just grab that. Grab that nice and, nice and tight. Keep this guy steady. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to the other with it. So now, I should be able to, fuck it, it's popped far enough, I should be able to get back on that clamp. <sighs> Alright, now, that's not on there very well, let me do that some better, let me do that a little bit better, some better, Jesus fucking Christ. And with any luck at all, that looks like it's on there pretty well. Sort of, well, God, I'm just laying on my fucking ow, it's hot. Alright. I'm gonna kind of rotate that up a little bit. Try to get it on there a little better. Alright, that's about as good as we're gonna do. And luckily for me, I keep empty oil jugs in the back of the truck. So, what I'm gonna do is, you guessed it, mud water. I always made the joke. It looked like somebody just took fucking mud water and dumped it into the uh, radiator when I bought it. And uh, yeah, somebody probably did. But hey, in a situation like this, fuck it, water's water. Just get it from the top so you don't have chunks and shit. Fill it up your uh, Peter core. Yeah. Better. 
I'm gonna try to focus on the truck. Well, so I got set you guys like this. But I think you guys know how to get water in a jug, maybe. But as per what have it. And then, as you would normal antifreeze, just, you know, I'm not worried about it being hot because uh, my cap blew already. And there's no, there's no antifreeze really left in the system. to make sure it ain't freaking out too much. EPA is not going to be happy with this one. Yep, two things you should always carry. Extra antifreeze, extra oil, and uh, wrenches, tools, and probably a 10 millimeter. <laughs> 10 millimeter is never a bad idea to have. Shit. Trying to keep you guys. Yeah, I don't mind the oil slipping because I was in here. There's a river right there. Let me see if I can get some water on that. Alright, that's. A, yeah, fuck that. Keep it all right there. And then, like I said, I'm only doing this up until I can get to town. And get some real fucking antifreeze put in my truck. I just gotta get it to town, you know? Well, I've been needing to flush my radiator for a while, so hey. That's the other bit you gotta do. Is while you're off-roading, shit will break. Always find a way to make a negative a positive. Jesus Christ.
Yeah, because when you will, shit will break. So, always find a way to make negatives positives. I mean, that's probably a good rule of thumb for life, even. Alright, so now... I'm gonna hear my radiator gurgle. It's close to full. There we go. Now it's full. And nasty, but full. So, I'm gonna go ahead and close that back up. Uh, yeah, alright, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go on over here just so I can get a full bottle of a. Uh, or of a. Uh, yeah, antifreeze. <laughs> yeah, we can call it that. But like an would catch on fire. So. That's actually not too bad of a river right there either. For the most part, clean river water. So we're gonna put that in this tr in the trunk. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I got a couple empty jugs back here. I'm gonna fill up some empty ones too, just in case my radiator hose does blow up again, blow off again. That way, I will be able to refill it again. Just empty. That's empty. Uh, that's empty. That's empty. That should be enough. That's a full jug there. And then these guys being full. Okay, I'm not hopping off that side. Fuck that. I'm short. That's a fucking suicide for me. <clears throat> Yay. So, with these bottle, none of these bottles being as big, I'm just going to fill them up here. And fill my boots up while I'm at it. Yes, yeah, so that's full. Throw that up there in the corner. One up. 